Hey guys, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Just want to go over a real simple drill that was popularized about a decade or so ago, probably at this point two decades, by Greg Shepard from Bigger, Faster, Stronger. It's the dot drill. So many clinics have this, uh, but may not know the history or actually how it was intended to be used. This is a simple, low level stretch shortening cycle drill that can be used for conditioning and or an active warm up. And there's several levels for this. I'm gonna adapt what Greg Shepard put out there originally and just kind of put it in a progressive manner for patients. This was originally intended for healthy. So with patients, what we typically do once they're ready to start a plyometric program, this is one of the first things that we'll have them do to assess their readiness. Um, so level one is basically gonna be a bilateral drill and it's nothing more than hopscotch, and it really helps to give the patients verbal cues. So the verbal cues to Ava is going to be in, out, in, out. So go ahead, let's do a few. And typically, the patient would do six there and back, okay? And that would count as one set. So she's going in, out, in, out. And when you're trying to do this for time, you want to spend the least amount of time on the back side here. So as soon as you go in, out, and back, you want to come right back forward, okay? Excellent, great. Now, level two is still a bilateral movement, all right? And this is, again, adapted. This isn't really what Greg Shepard had, but this is adapted to rehab. Bilateral movement with a different pattern. So even though it's uh, biomotor planning, it's pre-planned. So she's going to start in with both feet, and the verbal, the mantra is going to be in, out, across, in, out, across. So go ahead in, out, across, in, out, across. And again, subject would do that up to six times to complete one full set, all right? So those are your two basic patterns. Everything else is a variation thereof. Um, the next one that Greg Shepard would do would basically do that same pattern, but single-legged. So let's start with your left leg and go in, out, across, in, out, across, and then try with your other leg. Obviously, this would be a functional progression going from bilateral movement to single lateral movement. This is a healthy, and you can see it's not that uh, easy to do. Uh, and then the uh, last one, which would technically be level five, would be doing the same first pattern, but with a 180 degree turn. So let's try that. So when she gets to the end, she's gonna spin 180 degrees and turn. Nice thing about this, is there's been a lot of uh, information by Tim Hewitt and Greg Myers on perturbation training. So this ability to turn and land in a stable position and move again is something I think that might be able to help your ACL patients. Again, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. See you next time.